everyone, welcome back. We're in the garage. I got my work clothes on and it is time to start boxing this thing in and making an actual camper. So since I brought it back, I widened the rear axle and I buttoned up a whole bunch of other small things like uh, I made a plate, let's see if I can, there you go. I made a plate right there at that intersection to help tie it in. And just a couple of other little things that needed to be addressed. And I figured I'd go ahead and do that real quick before I started uh, building the rest of it. So I think now what we need to do, hey kiddo, my, my helper is helping me today. <laughs> um, now what I need to do is prep the frame rails for the, uh, the floor. So I'm going to bust out the grinder, get in there and start grinding it out. So it's all nice and smooth. And then we'll drag the floor out of the back of the truck, lay it in there and see how it fits and get it buttoned down. Now, I am gonna go underneath and do some more welding on the cross bracing, uh, just to help kind of tie it in, so then that way it won't sit there and make a whole bunch of noise, and just kind of help tie it in everything. I, I just wanna do a little bit of stitch welding right now. I'll go back uh, later, and I'll really get in there and do a whole bunch more. Uh, I didn't want, I don't wanna bore you guys with just stitch weld, stitch weld, you know, so. I think the next thing that we need to do is look at building the front wall right here. And then we can look at doing the roof. So I think what I'm gonna do for material, uh, I sat in my garage for a couple of nights just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And thinking. <laughs> and you know how it is. You just sit in a chair and you just stare at your project and just, you know, let the gears turn and just start kind of designing it in your head. Uh, so I'm gonna use three quarter by three quarter by 065 square tubing. I wanna try to keep it lightweight, but yet still relatively strong uh, to build the framework to attach the front wall and to attach the uh, roof. So I'm gonna start pulling some measurements and I will get the material down off of my truck and we'll start chopping it away and start building ourselves a front wall. This will be great.
exciting. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> so, uh, I'll kind of give you a little bit of uh, explaining of what I've got going on here. Uh, I went ahead and decided to throw the panels in real quick, the side pieces, and these pieces right here. So this is a uh, one inch by two inch, uh, eighth inch wall. Um, I've got those going directly down to the floor. That is going to be for the roof rack. I needed something that I can tie the roof rack to that I wanted it to go directly down to the frame for strength. And so that's kind of what I came up with. Um, you know, you've got four of them, four locations, and I think it's gonna work out really well. I can put a piece of strap coming off that I can bolt the rack to. I mean, this just, I left it like this for now for whatever I decide to come up with. But that is looking absolutely fantastic. Now I had to get a little creative and think ahead on the back here because again, like I said, um, I am going to be doing a door. There's going to be a door right here. So I wanted the door to swing and come in and be flush with the back here. I did not want it protruding out. So I will run probably some more three quarter down the side here, down to down here. I'm not for sure what I'm going to do down here yet. I still have to kind of play around with that, but I, I do need to put something right here that the door can close and seal up against so but doesn't that look doesn't that look awesome well at least i think it does <laughs> so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and uh just jump in here and weld out all the joints and stuff and then polish everything out uh for the sheet to lay flat and then we'll get the roof and we will set it up here um, I have to cope around the uprights and yeah, then that's pretty much it except for the back door. So I'm going to start welding and then we'll get that piece up here and tacked in. So <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm loving this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a roof. <laughs> How exciting is that? So again, these are going to be for mounting the roof rack. I'm going to have tabs or something coming off of those. But look at that. That just, oh, that makes me just so happy. <laughs> It's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> cool. Very cool. So I got it stitch welded up here on the top, as you can see. And I will have to put some weight up here or get one of the kids to step down on it. So that way I can get in here with the cross members and get them, you know, do some stitch welding to those. Because I don't want this. I don't want that as I'm going down the road. So, but <laughs> look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now I still, we still need to build the back door for it. And, uh, oh, let me show you this because the kids were absolutely loving this. So remember how I said I'm going to have, I'm going to have that accessible <laughs> to the front of the trailer. See? So that, that's gonna be awesome. I gotta do a little bit of patchwork because there was some really good rust in this area. So, but this is gonna be great because I'm thinking of like having a water tank up front, up here, 
and maybe a propane tank right here I, I don't know quite yet so um, you know if I have the propane tank here I could run my elite lines in and stuff but the only problem is is with the propane is they do vent a little bit and I don't want propane venting into the inside so still questioning on that you know if I'm even gonna put anything here at all we'll see I, I don't know I might I might do something put something on the door so that way it's not kind of in the way if I have to get in there real fast so good place for a battery though that would be a really good place because then I could still reach over it so so there we go <laughs> yeah this thing is going to be awesome she's getting some weight on her though she's getting some weight i think i'm definitely gonna have to put some shocks on it <laughs> which is okay i would rather to uh i don't you know i want this thing to ride smooth but i don't want it like you know just bouncing and whatnot so i think i've got some shocks lined out so anyways um i think next is we need to start figuring out a door for this so yeah yeah finish out a door frame and then start building the door for it so yeah i'll get the tape measure and start doing some measurements and see what we can come up with stay tuned for part two of the camper conversion where i build the rear door for the trailer and I also found a perfect score for the trailer that will allow me to access my supplies a lot easier.